Aquaculture is the farming of species that live in water, such as fish, crustaceans, and aquatic plants. According to scientific projections, aquaculture will be one of the main methods used to guarantee enough food for humans by 2050. But if aquaculture is not managed well, it could also bring grave consequences to marine ecosystems. This is already starting to occur because of salmon farming in Chile. So how does salmon farming impact oceans? Chile is the world's second largest producer of salmon, after Norway. But the farming of the species has caused serious harm in oceans where, until recently, there has not been much human influence. There are 1,358 concessions allocated for salmon farming in Chile, with thousands of the fish living in floating raft cages. There, they receive their food. But not all of the food is consumed by the salmon. A large portion of it ends up in the seabed, the same is true for the salmon feces. This triggers a dangerous chain of events. This food and waste both contain nutrients that promote the growth of algae. This is what scientists call eutrophication. The most serious effect happens when these large accumulations of algae consume too much of the oxygen in the water. Without enough oxygen, other marine species die. This cycle has already destroyed the seabeds of several places in Chile, such as Laguna Grande in San Pedro, and put others at risk, such as the Cape Horn Biosphere Reserve. Another effect of large-scale salmon farming is the escape of millions of the fish from their cages. This puts native species at risk of being preyed upon. Alternatively, the salmon may take over the native species' space and feed upon their prey. Salmon farming indiscriminately uses antibiotics, and the World Health Organization has warned that this could be a major concern. In some countries, 80% of the use of these antibiotics goes into raising animals. This can cause antibiotic resistance further up the food chain, including in humans. To mitigate the risk, the salmon farming industry would need to use fewer antibiotics, reduce the density of the fish in salmon farms, and prevent fish from escaping. Experts believe that these steps could help guarantee the health of the oceans for many years.